Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 11th of October. Still clouds over much of the state this morning. And again, some chance of light rain and scattered spots today, but probably not very much. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. That's the Inverness Skycam overlooking Highway 280 coming from the Wingate Inn. Go down to Tuscaloosa. That's looking north from high atop the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And down in Chilton County, there's a look at downtown Clanton. All right, we've got the... Uh, System that has been producing the cloudy weather drifting slowly north this morning. It's over uh, Georgia. And uh, there's a look at the surface analysis. Got this broad 1,008 millibar load that's over the northeastern Gulf. And again, on top of that, a pretty good easterly flow pulling in moisture from the Atlantic. And on the radar at 5 o'clock, a little light rain, mainly over the Tennessee Valley. Uh, places like Moulton and Decatur and Athens getting some light rain, uh, raining over in Rome, Georgia, uh, pretty moderately at this point, and that's all moving west. And, you know, we'll maintain the chance of a little light rain in spots today. <clears throat> a lot of the guidance has been suggesting the better coverage should be over northeast Alabama. Temperatures this morning, mostly in the 60s. <clears throat> the actual numbers range from 59 at Cullman to 68 at Alexander City in Montgomery. And around the nation, coldest air back in the uh, west with that upper trough out there. No uh, organized severe weather expected today, although thunderstorms are possible on, along the southern half of the Atlantic coast and across the nation's midsection. And the rain for the next five days. Amounts vary from just a trace down at Mobile to uh, maybe a half inch or so up over the northeastern part of the state. And uh, again, most spots are just not going to see that much rain over the next five days, and anything we get probably will be today. Tropics, nothing happening. Yeah, we make it about 10 more days and just maybe we'll make it through the uh, core of the hurricane season here without too many Gulf of Mexico issues this year. Here's the uh, OZGFS valid at 7 o'clock uh, this evening. And again, you can see the weakness here over the southeastern states, a trough back to the northwest. And down below that, a, a weak surface low again around Jacksonville. And the GFS continues to suggest the bulk of the showers will be over far east Alabama and uh, parts of Georgia and the Carolinas today. So the better chance of getting raindrops probably east and northeast Alabama. And highs will depend on the rain. If you're in the rain today in east Alabama, you could be in the 60s all day. Most spots will see a high close to 70. Should be cloudy statewide. Now, tomorrow we're kind of in between. I think we'll be dry. Highs in the upper 70s, a uh, mixture of clouds and sunshine. And then Thursday, pretty good-looking trough swings through. And down below that, there's a surface boundary coming off that surface low near Cleveland and Detroit. But again, you can see how the model is showing just not very much moisture. You could you could mention the chance of a shower. And I will say this, the, the NAM is much wetter. Don't have the graphic to show you. But the NAM, in fact, is pretty aggressive with this feature, showing a a chance of showers and storms on Thursday while the GFS is dry. So kind of split the difference. We'll mention the chance of a shower Thursday, and we'll fine-tune that as we get closer. And then Friday, we get into dry air. Just beautiful. Humidity starts to drop. Highs in the uh, mid-70s. And Saturday, a wonderful day to start the weekend. We should be in the upper 40s at daybreak. Highs well up in the 70s. Low humidity, light wind. Just wonderful. And Sunday looks good. Thickness values are coming up. In fact, uh, the low-level thickness values are suggesting low 80s on Sunday, so kind of warm. But again, we'll start the day Sunday morning around 50, maybe 40s for the colder valleys. But no rain this weekend. Monday of next week, we stay dry, kind of warm. But oh, look at Tuesday evening. This is Tuesday evening at 7. Got a phased trough coming in here. And look at that. That would suggest uh, maybe some... Pretty healthy thunderstorms, if that's right, Tuesday evening. Uh, with a surface low north of here, not a classic severe weather setup, but there could be some thunder there for sure and maybe a strong storm during the National Weather Association Annual Convention. Got to have some active weather in there somewhere. And then uh, the following day, this is uh, Wednesday, the 19th. Look at the 540 line down to Huntsville. Coldest air so far this season with a good stiff north breeze. 
Ooh, buddy, for the cool weather fans, that's exciting. Maybe some snow flurries back in the cold air for the Great Lakes and uh, maybe some good snows around uh, Erie and uh, Pittsburgh, if this is right. Wow. Check the end of the forecast, October 26th. Eh, the westerlies retreat north. And uh, we're dry. And look at that tropical system out there in the Atlantic. By golly, that's kind of where they've been all season long for the most part. Recurving systems off the Atlantic coast of the United States. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you are local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. And 4, 5, 6, and 10. Keep forgetting we have a 4 o'clock news now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.